is a Turkish canon, actually. Uh, I'm saying that because uh, in the world, canon is a widespread instrument. In Middle East uh, and Islamic countries of Northern Africa, uh, Balkans, Uzbekistan, Armenia, Greece, in those countries, all of those countries, uh, canon is played, uh, but with slightly differences. This Turkish canon uh, has many strings, as you see here. Uh, average uh, 75 strings. It can be three more or three less. But the strings, uh, the strings are nylon strings. But the strings are um, in the group, uh, in the triple groups. So we have 25 or 26 pitches at present. Uh, this is the sound box uh, I will show. Uh, and uh, here uh, there are three uh, main lattices, uh, three little lattices. Um, also here there is a leather part. Uh, those two parts, both two parts, uh, produce the tim timber and also resonation of canon. Here this is bridge, we call this eşik. Those are burgos we are using for tuning. This is tuning key. <laughs> and here is important, uh, here there are levers, mandals, we call them mandal. Uh, they uh, help us to produce Turkish makam music, microtonal uh, pitches. So there are so many for each pitches because uh, in whole in uh, whole tone interval, uh, we have many sharps and flats. We have many pitches. Breast uh, of the canon uh, is made of uh, mostly pine tree. Um, we are playing canon with mizraps and yüksüks. Uh, mizraps are made of um, and ideally. Uh, Turtle shell.
Kanun was added um, or included Turkish music in 15th century in Fatih Sultan Mehmet era. Um, until 18th century, it was played uh, mostly. Yani, but uh, after 18th century, uh, Turkish music uh, system and understanding started to be started to be changed. Um, we had more Chechnys, we had more uh, pitches on our music, uh, and we had some um, glissandos, etc. Before that time, uh, before 18th century, we didn't have much things. Uh, on this way, uh, to play in canon uh, was um, become to be hard to play. Thank you.